two rounds in one night. And this one goes to Joseph Robinette Biden. President Biden, I will tell you right now that if you give the Saudi Arabian prince a pass on Kosoji's death, I will not respect you anymore. I will not support you anymore. I will not vote for you in the primaries. And I will not vote for you in the general election. And if a suitable independent candidate does not step up and run for president. And what I mean by a suitable independent, I don't mean some Republican reject of Trump's who goes into independent to try and get away with something. I mean a suitable independent candidate. If they don't run, then I'm not voting at all. Because the only thing you're telling the American people is that justice doesn't matter. The victim doesn't matter. Only your little political games matter. If Saudi Arabia wants to cut us off, fine, cut them off. The thing goes both ways, people. Goes both ways. And if they start s supporting Russia, then sanction them. It goes both ways. Use the leverage you have. Stop bowing down like a bunch of cowards to these people. And Justice Garland, I will say the same thing to you. If you do not take a serious stance on the illegal actions of Donald J. Trump, then all you are telling the American people is that justice doesn't matter. We do not have a democracy. We have an autocracy run by the richest people and the most powerful people. That the little people don't matter. The crimes Trump committed while he was in office was not only committed on the rich or the Republicans. It was committed on all of the American citizens. No matter how poor or how rich they are. And if he can't be held accountable, then all you're saying is if you're rich and powerful enough, you can get away with anything including murder. Because Trump murdered those five people in that insurrection as if he was there himself. Because if it wasn't for his call for them people to go to the White House, they never would have. And the Proud Boys wouldn't have been waiting on the side wings for just before your speech was over to go and start the attack on the White House, to weaken the White House so that when the rest of the people came along, it was weak enough they could get through security. And uh, you Capitol Police, I'm going to say this to you. You did a good job. You worked your ass off. The next time around something like that happens, 
when people are trying to get through windows, which is a choke point, or through narrow hallways, start shooting their damn kneecaps off. Maybe if you shoot a half a dozen of them, the rest of the people will find it's not worth it. This is bullshit. This crap needs to stop. We need to hold accountable those who have broke the law. What happens if I went over to Saudi Arabia and the Saudi prince decided to kill me? You gonna give him a pass for that too? What, he can kill any American citizen he wants to and get away with it? Either we have justice for all or we have justice for nobody. Plain and simple. And if our pre politicians can't stand up and give the citizens just for justice for all. They do not believe in a democracy. Don't you think Trump has hurt our democracy enough? And you promised, Biden. You made a promise. Keep it. Or you're no better than Trump.